Hello everyone, this is Martin from Secrets, the channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to the new, brand new, first episode of Option Trading Strategy Series where we are going to look a little more advanced option strategies. And today we have a weekly income strategy, double diagonal counter spreads. So we would not go in, in, in detail or you know, assuming that it's not, you know, this strategy is maybe not a good extension and this for advanced users and we'll just explain briefly on this strategy and then do some manual testing and see how it goes right <coughs> so this is basically uh, what you see here is a double, double diagonal curve spread it's basically nothing but um, you know a, it can be a weekly basis or a, a monthly you know on a monthly expiry basis so what you see here is a weekly basis you can see that 11 number week expiry now uh, we have two positions and you know, there are sell or support in a call which is of half the money and then you buy the hedges for the next you know, the far month uh, or the far week uh, you know uh, November 18 and November 18 put and call as a hedge positions for the uh, dear sold positions right so you sell to call and put and you buy to call and put but the buy positions would be for the next calendar week or a month right and um, that is what double that we can do spread is all about so like just like any other strategy we look at the probability of the profit the maximum profit the risk reward ratio the break, the break even the range that we are getting and uh, what's the net credit that we are getting so it's a trade of between this um, profit for the range and uh, you know what is the risk reward now what probability is there for it to success one risk reward is there for us and you know um, what is the range that we are getting range right Maybe within a week or a month you know what strategy so that's a brief on this strategy so the entry rules of this you know this is a strategy that i am um, double diagonal is not my you know, it's a it's a very popular um the blend comes with a very very popular uh, strategy that is benefiting from the vega moves you know, the volatility spikes would have some advantage of the dk happening lesser on the hedges side right and uh, so basically the you know the vega moves you know with the vega spikes happens it benefit to have a better range and a better uh, outcome uh, so uh, this is a this is not a strategy discord by me so i have customized this uh, you know depending on the entry i have my own rules and entry and exit and the adjustment so my rule would be to enter on a you know uh, Friday or a last uh, the day after the expiry right the Friday 1 30 p.m you know, uh, you know, and you have to buy in at a price range uh, you know, premiums of uh, the sell portion should be between 20 and 30 25 and 30 that range you no know, and then you should have hedges that is also coming near to that range but uh, slightly lesser, you know, between 20 and 25 that range, right? And the exit would be we don't go into the you know, ideally we should not go into the expiry day. There's a lot of gamma moves or so that can happen, which may um, take away all the profits that we have. So it's always uh, exit day for the end of the day, 315, 325, or only Wednesday or previous to the expiry day, one day previous to the expiry day. Enter on one day after the experiment and then exit on one day prior to that experiment. Or if your profit is reached before that 50% of the max profit or 3% of, you know, 2 to 3% of your capital, if you're got it, then you also can. And the spikes, yeah, so the, so if, if you are uh, doing the adjustments and then the reach, uh, we reach a point where the strikes are the same for the put and the calls, solve questions, then it's uh, advisable not to go for inverse selling. Which you can do, but you know, it's very dangerous when we have a reversal from that state. So, I just will be basically neutralizing the delta, you know, bring it back to the zero levels, the combined positional delta, uh, uh, and that will happen. Uh, we'll go into the adjustment only if there is a breach on the upper and the lower breach. So, another will not touch it, right? And once uh, we do the delta, we'll continue to do the delta till a breach on one side, on the break event. First one is in the upper break event, second is the lower break. So I'll just explain. So this point on the top is the up, no, upper break even, lower break even. This is the break evens normally on either side, right? 
So we'll do the adjustments only if this is breached. I will do it by neutralizing the return and do it till this point where the break will happen, this side or that side, which one. So you will exit. But ideally, you can shift this, you, know, you can reverse this or inverse this to sell put. If the call is further moving outside of this range, we can do that. But if market again reverses back, you have problems. Similarly, you can shift this to the other side of the P if the market goes down further, further. But it's risky. It's not as suggested as per the strategy. So basically, you know, this is what uh, you know, uh, we, we are trying to explain. So this is the kind of thing from the August to the October, October end. You know, so August, September, October. Okay. So three full months of up move, and this comes to around 2,500 points up move. Right? But this did not happen just, you know, from 16,200 trains to 18,600 did not happen in one shot. Right? You can see that it moved up, then retraced, moved up, retraced, then vertically big gap of moved up, retraced, so small retracements, and then you have V shaped multiple. Like you have a V shape. See here. Then you have a V-shape here, inverse V and inverse V-shape. Then we have another V-shape here, the another inverse V. So we try to see on this few of the scenarios and say, try to understand. So the basic purpose of this um, strategy, double diagonal counter spread, is to use it as a weekly income basis, right? an income strategy. This is kind of an income. You know, you don't have to be accuracy. You know, the question is, I think it has to be the you know, one or two percent of your capital or capital size is all that you have to pay. Take one lot or increase the lots as per you know, what percentage of uh, then what percentage of uh, your uh, total capital you know, comes to around one or two percent. And that's all you have, right? So uh, the week's moment during this August and uh, the uh, October end, you know, the spiking like this. So that's a good uh, time for taking. But this is a weekly. This is the daily kind. This is on a weekly basis that. Of this strategy so this is a personal strategy, not an intraday strategy. And right, so, so it you know you enter on a Friday evening and then exit before a Thursday evening or you know, expiry day before that. Monday after expiry, you enter before expiry. That's the entry indexing. So the VIX is actually spiked from the 12 or 11 kind of levels to 19 kind of levels. So that is the kind of movement that happened, and uh, it did not happen. So look at the falls that has happened. Look at the fall, look at the spike, look at this fall. So it was highly volatile and ideal environment to backtest. So that's the reason why I thought I'll share with some of the things that I've done. So, uh, so let's pick a few of the dates uh, and uh, we will try to backtest this. A few of the dates. So let's see it on the charts itself and. Uh, uh, yeah, so this is that. So let's try to test uh, and see how this goes. And this you know, we've just randomly field play. So let's let's just test a uh, eighth of uh, August, right? So we use the you know, options uh, simulator, right? Options simulator is a feature of the Opstra, right? Uh, it's a paid service and. Um, uh, so what what as we discussed what we are planning to do is we are planning to test this particular date of uh, uh, let's say this is September 3rd okay so September 3rd is where we will go so October September 3rd is a Friday and the Expiry for that would be um, would be would be ninth, okay? third to ninth, and the expiry here would be select is September ninth, and uh, we we'll just go uh, go to the one thirty. You can see that it is ten thirty here. So we go to one thirty. That's our entry rule. See here it is 1.30 and now we are going to make the entry, right? So what we do on the right side is the put plus trader price and the left side is the call plus trader price. So we go and find where is the 25-30 range coming, right? 30 and 31, we'll go for this, we'll buy this, 
we'll sell this we'll say three lots right so that's the put side put leg of the double line calendar and that is for the 9th ex, September expiry similarly we'll go here and search for a 25 premium just coming here and we'll sell it three lot say now we got to buy the hedges for this so we choose the expiry following to that week which is 16th September and we will go here again back we look for a smaller and twenty range kind of sellers we will buy it okay so let's hedge on the put side and the call side also we would do similar thing and now our double diagonal calendar is in shape look at this right so we have a range of 16,948. We are at a spot price of 17,300. Okay? And we have a, a range of 16,940 to 7. So a very you know, reasonable range is what you are getting. And 300 points the other side and almost 300 points the call side as well. Right? So this is the this is for three lots. Right? You can do it for one lot, so all the same. So what we do now is we are going to start the back, back testing manually using the app simulator. We will we'll, we'll do all those apply all those adjustment rules if required. So here we go. So let's see how it goes. Don't even do any change, right? Because as long as the breach of this point, so we would do adjustments only if there is a breach of this seventeen five fifty. Or a bridge of this 17,000 happens. Otherwise, we don't do anything at all. Right? So here he goes. And uh, we have 3rd September. So now we have 4th, 6th, 6th September the next day. Right? So we have 3rd September. We did a gap up and we had jumped it to 6th September, which seems to be a Monday. And uh, we continue the testing. So our expiry is on 9 September, and we are we, uh, we don't need to do anything at all. Right? We are in profit already. We are uh, not doing anything. The spot price is 17385. We don't need to do anything until the, you know, the 550 is reached, and we are. Uh, at 115 on 6 September, 145, 2 o'clock. So nothing is happening. If you look at the charts, what is basically happening is you have taken the position um, this day, and then it's some kind of consolidation is what is happening in the next two days, which is very good, right? For any data neutral strategies, right? So we continue testing it and we see that 6th right 7th september so still two more days sorry tuesday it means we don't need to do any adjustment at all it is well within this range you know in spite of two days movement we have benefited 1700 okay. yeah. we can calculate how much it comes to and decide if that 5 50 percent of max profit has reached or not Right. So thousand seven hundred thousand seven hundred seven nine three seven. So yeah, so a lot of lot of uh, yeah, so um yeah so we continue to um, yes so yeah. you just don't need to do anything at all. Right. Right. So we just keep moving in seventh, and you know, let's move thirty minutes and see what happens. Okay. So seventh is getting over today. So it's eighth. This is the minus two, and this is the day we are supposed to get out. Right. So we are moving fifteen minutes, fifteen minutes each. It's eleven o'clock. We are moving thirty minutes. See if. To go faster and nothing happens and we are already in profit but not 50% of that right and 
that's it 11 30 2 o'clock we are on a Wednesday so 3 o'clock 15 minutes however and we are in the profit right we are in a reasonable profit right 30 percent of profit is there right so that's it we don't go to that uh, we don't go to the next day we exit on this day and we are profitable we have made 3000 rupees from 7500 max profit right? very decent no? so it's only three lots that we have to that's per lot we have a thousand rupees that's a reasonable gain and that is an example of how it works right so basically we have all through consolidation and right? look at uh, when it happened on this day and then consolidated and we exited on the next Wednesday which is 8th so you know it is it it is a profitable move right now let's pick up something uh, some you know some other day right let's pick up another day where it failed so this is August 27th what do we do that we reset this we go to August month 27 right August 27 is a Friday the expiry would be September 3rd right September 3rd no 3rd 2nd September 2nd 27 is uh, August 27 right basically uh, we are looking for so we ended on this Friday 27 and we are targeting on uh, right for, uh, expiry which is on 2nd September right? 2nd September is this the second September right so this is a big up move and then small reversal so what happened so we have to choose the expiry day which is September 2nd and uh, we, we are in 27 August and we go to the 130 130 and then we try to enter the positions with looking for 25 here's 26 you basically sell the put and then you again look on the call side and we see that it is having 31 because 20 is too low so we can go for this now we change to the nines next expiry and take the heads portions on the put side we go for 20 we buy the heads on the put side Similarly, on the call side, we would like to buy this. It was 24 a little more. We would like to buy this. So, overall, the position would be like this. The Greek CVC position in Greek is slightly on the upside 20. That's probably because we breached the rules. We should probably you should uh, try to take this position. Uh, slightly we should do right so it will be we so just we just test it and we will go back to this second September and then try to start the testing from 15 minutes okay so it's uh, 145 August 27 which is exactly here and now we are going day by day 30 minutes up Nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens. Yes, there is a breach there. There is a breach that is happening. We'll just wait for five minutes scan to see if it is real. T9, one more. So the breach is real. And the breach is 59, 57. Yes, so the breach is real. 
so it has breached the upper break even point and now we call close this because this is a move on the call side so the put side is 16450 you look what is the value of 16450 you can look at here also 16450 current price is 10 35 and we will close it we book the profit and close it and then what we do is we would go to the positional delta that is remaining which is 116 and we divide the number of lots so basically we have to look out for a 38 delta on the put side so this is where the delta is we look for 38 where does it come here it is close to that so we sell it basically we are rolling over right so we close this 16450 put and then take another put at 16800 and we now got a range between 16700 16 and we continue our test right so our range is now between we have a call that is solved at 16850 and 16800 right so and we are still on 30th only right we have few more days to go before the expire so now we need to look whether there is a breach of this happening closer to that not exactly on this few points like 24 points or something before that we need to make that decision otherwise we will not get a chance to do that so that point it would be 967 if 96 is 875 so we continue to look for 967 and then we test it 967 right so we are still on that same day and we are on a 991 let's see we are 891 so we will still have not breached Yes, see six ninety. That's five ninety. It's nine zero three actually. It's too small. Sometimes you can't see it. Nine zero three, nine twenty five. We're getting closer. Nine twenty five is cl very close to the point. It's fifty points. You can try a five minutes move. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. We are still on the same day. Nine twenty-four closing. Nine twenty-four and nine thirty is very close. Just thirty points. Probably we should know the just one now. Let's say one more five. And it's 38 very close one more and yeah time it's time to it's 15 30 and time to move adjustment right so we are on move on the call side so the put side will close again this will close 16800 we'll see what does happen on 16800 now we the, it is 36.55 we'll come back here close this profit 36.55 and now the thing is we got no option but to exit and loss because one more try you can do is is 850 but it may not work 16.850 same strike right so when we do this we basically we are not getting much gain the thing is 16850 and 16850 call and put so it's kind of same strike so if this breaches this point we would exit let's see how it goes 
so this is a 920 jump gap up opening the next day still not breached and uh, still not breached our loss is 2500 and uh, we are at 948 very close here. still not breached and uh, we are still not breached it's 11 o'clock 64 very close to breaching so our loss is 2500 yeah, we have arranged in 994. 87, 87, 85, 79, 84. Yes, so we have reached and we are taking a loss of 2600 and exiting. Because our rule says that, our rule says that we exit. That just on delta neutralizing like we did on the breach of the lower break even which we did and under we breached the break even upper break even and lower break even right so what you see here on the upside this is the upper break even we did the adjustment again it breached then we moved the strikes the same and when the strikes are same and if it is breached we exit so we exit at a loss how is the loss very negligible, very negligible loss of 2600 for 3 lots. That's hardly a very less loss, but it's appropriate to because once we move after that, we will be inversing. So that is slightly risky, which is not available, right? So, what exactly happened is now let's look back at the charts. So, this is the uh, 27th entry of August. 27 August is this right look at the move that has happened and we exceeded on 30th 31st or 30th we exceeded on 31st so this is the kind of movement that happened we ended here and we it was a big move uh, a big move but uh, very big move and uh, we do not want to take the risk. We could have, you know, try to move on, but you know, sometimes we have to take the risk. You know, we'll take take the, you know, take what what gives, right? And then, but look at this. We did not do any adjustment on our previous example. Right? We simply kept uh, took the position and then closed the position on Wednesday, and we made the profit. So all of this, most say. So we had a, a red lay the entire August to September month. If you see, we only had two. You know, we only had two red days. Means we exited in loss early. That loss will be very less. Very less percentage of loss will be there. But all other days, most of the days we didn't do any adjustments, or we hardly did one adjustment. Zero adjustment here. Zero adjustment here. Zero adjustment here. One adjustment here. One adjustment here. One adjustment here. So it's very small. So adjustments, I hope it's clear how that. Uh, if you are not understood, please rewind back and see how the data neutralization happened, which point we did that, and uh, uh, what are the rules you know, of the entry, and what are the adjustments that we have done. Hope this helps, and uh, definitely I will come out with uh, backlisting for remaining of the days. So this was a clear uptrend move but with very volatile uptrend move i don't have the um, data for just for showing you on this side on the last number uh, on october 29 to number that move no, so that so we will all we can also test how this sideways movement is how is that the strategy moved right so overall this is a weekly regular weekly income but definitely when market grows crazy once in a while you may have to in some loss like here we incurred a loss because we had a giant up move and then a reversal so v shape moves here also one adjustment is required because we had a take down fall and then a reversal v shape okay. so that that's the, these are the places that may yeah. uh, incur some losses otherwise uh, this is a regular weekly i hope you like this and uh, if you have any questions put it in the comment box and uh, uh, we can 
come up with follow videos which explains this more right so yeah so thank you so much for watching and uh, if you like it share with your friends and colleagues thank you so much bye happy learning happy training